I kind of want to Narset somebody. I kind of want to do the Narset draw seven thing and make someone regret. <laughs> make someone just regret everything. The stip about to start? We are stipless. Just a regular old Caleb D MTG special. You've never heard of a California king and you're from California? Well, yeah, I mean, they probably don't call it there, that there, right? Do you have, do you have California style sandwiches there? Like California burgers and what, what? If we see a sandwich called California style, I think it means that there's like tomato, lettuce, mayo, maybe bacon, I don't know. I haven't had one in a while. Or maybe avocado. Maybe it means avocado. You rich California fucks with your avocados. <laughs> maybe I should have grabbed Crater Hoof. Maybe Hoof was better. Just pivot. Commence the thievening. Plantation five year. Uh, I have not, I don't know if I've had the five year. I like the plantation uh, pineapple, which is um, what I'm drinking right now. Ooh. Infused with Victorian pineapple. <laughs> hey Lord Sorrow, thanks for the 20 bucks. Donating for the no stip stip. Could just grab another fetch here. Emery could work out. Off color signets seem really meh with this start. I guess they get us to warm coil faster. We could take Karn. If you're taking Karn though, I think you want the off color signet. I guess our colors aren't like locked in. Oh man, let's opposition someone. Let's see if we can make someone have a real bad day. Still says Chonkers in the overlay. Oh, that's my bad. Yeah, let me fix that. Fast. Yeah, him to Chark would be better if we were gonna do like the um the blue light control thing. I think we're moving away from that. What am I gonna play when Cube is gone? What I usually do. Legacy, modern, historic. Sucks that we have to piss, pass Misty and Natural Order there. We already passed Hoof though, so Natural Order wouldn't have been that good anyway. Misty though. So Whisperwood kinda works with opposition. I'm gonna grab the Rex Age. Oh my god. Oh my god. We have found our lane. Do I play Popper at all? Every once in a while. Every once in a while. The views aren't usually there for Popper, but maybe... Hey, Corsa works with Fast Bond. I don't know, has it been growing? The more Popper grows, the more, in the more I'm interested in streaming it. Otherwise, it's kind of like vintage, where it's like a every once in a while sort of deal. 
What was our pack one pick one? I don't think it's even here anymore. I think it was the Narsa, yeah. I guess we could still play the Narset if you like Spiral or whatever. Fast button does want us playing draw sevens. What's up, Shark Fists? Crank it the fuck up. Make up for lost time. You have chicken being delivered? Nice. Yeah, Alyssa got like a little injured the other day. That's a rather than. Ooh. Oh my god. So the Twister works well with Narset, but we're not passing Soul Ring. It's not that kind of stream. Maybe Wheel to Krasis, huh? Sometimes Twister wheels. I don't think it will, but sometimes. What was I talking about? Oh, yeah, yeah, so we had Chicken Delivered. Mm. I was exhausted. They were exhausted. We were just like, oh, fuck it. Get some of that Popeyes. The Popeye's spicy chicken is good, but what 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 always sells it for me is their um, their mashed potatoes, mashed potatoes and gravy. There's so much flavor there in comparison to like every other fast food mashed potatoes and gravy. If I was oh sub spiral, if I was in charge of some other fast food establishment, I'd be like, I'd be like the the crusty crab guy, <laughs> just trying to steal a recipe. Or the guy that's trying to seal the recipe from the, the Krusty Krab guy. Anyway. Their mac and cheese isn't very good. Yeah, I never get the mac and cheese. You think KFC mashed potatoes are fire? I think KFC mashed potatoes are bland. That's right. Bland, basically tasteless. If you have the, the, the KFC mashed potatoes and gravy, and then the Popeyes mashed potatoes and gravy, and compare the two, one is like just like having like a fucking gruel, just like a bland paste, and the other one's this explosion of flavor. That like just like reminds you why you got up that day. It just gives you a reason for living. Not remotely close. So Sylvan Library works pretty well with Corsair. It's also like a fine draw engine. Character Relentless works well with Opposition though. I think we want a few more things that work well with Opposition. He was supposed to take the the draw spell and then wield Garrick. I mean, that's how it's supposed to go. The Million Click plays well with Narsed. I think I want the, the Vista. I think I want this fetch here and a little bit of fixing. Now you're getting Popeyes. <laughs> I, I waxed a little too poetic. And dip the biscuits in it. Oh, yeah. Yeah! We had some leftover biscuits, and I've been, like, melting cheddar cheese on top of them. It's been pretty fire. KFC fries are surprisingly good. That is accurate. KFC fries are surprisingly good. You're not wrong about that. You're not wrong about that at all. What's up, Cradle? This deck's turning out. We just need, like, Tropical Island, a few more Mana Dorks. Yeah. Yeah! Gravy's old fryer grease. I mean... <laughs> 
Isn't gravy usually made from the from the from the meat? That seems fine. The drippings. I think that's that's just like a normal gravy thing. You're making biscuits and gravy? Nice. KFC has the superior gaming console. That's true. That's valid. Right Avalanche? Yeah, there's there's some chains that have good cornbread, but but not fast food chains. That seems like a relatively easy thing to do. The Krasis wheel, nice. This is a good Krasis tank. We got um, a bunch of Cradle and Soul Ring man and such. You swear I always have Soul Ring. The last couple days I've drafted a lot of Soul Rings, that's for sure. Yeah, I feel that in the Go Blue. I feel that. My mom was like really restrictive of our, di of our diets growing up. And now that I'm an adult and can choose for myself, I'm just like, nope, not not doing that. <laughs> not, not, not doing that. The Popeye chicken sandwich, it's fine. The issue with Popeye chicken sandwich is the spice comes from the sauce that they put on it. They don't actually use their spicy chicken, and I think their spicy chicken is good. So I don't actually get the sandwich. I get the, I just get like, just get a breast. You only get two or three piece. Get an exquisite breast. Some mox? Mox around. And then, yeah like way too many mashed potatoes. And then the like the crunchy and the crunchy bits that fall off the chicken, I stir into the mashed potatoes and oh. and dip the biscuits in it. You tried Burger King in the US and you were turned off? Yeah. <laughs> oh man, what a surprise. That's a time walk, what the shit? All, all us Americans are really surprised that you didn't like Burger King. <laughs> the, the finest cuisine we have available. I see people are really into this BDSM stuff, but I tried slamming a dick into a drawer when I was by myself once and I didn't like it very much, so I don't understand the appeal. Let's go with Mirror Battle Sphere. Works with Opposition, works with Cradle, works with Crater Hoof. Kinda everything we want here, huh? God, we've turned into a Tinker deck. If we got a Tinker, this deck would be even slightly better. Jack in the Box? Well, Jack in the Box has actual things. God, that Academy is tempting. We could have another Cradle Academy deck. Academy fixes for multiple blue sources. The other thing, though, is there's, like, the Eternal Witness that get back Time Walk is, like, now an issue. Is that one? Or, no, not an issue, but a consideration. I think I'm actually going to take the Academy, though. Live the Dream. Got the Mere Battle Sphere and everything. Battle Sphere pumps up Academy and Cradle. God, that's so good. What was I talking about? Show and tell is like almost a thing. Almost not really. I kind of like the Gargaroth. Yeah, let's take Gargaroth here. This is not a stip now. This deck's just awesome. 
Oh, right, we were talking about Jack in the Box. Yeah, Jack in the Box has got a lot of, like, random... The nice thing about Jack in the Box is that they have a huge menu, so, like, whatever you're getting at, like, whatever time of the morning, you know, they're, like, dollar fried tacos or whatever the fuck it is. So we kind of need this breeding pool for fixing, but we also need Primeval Titan because it's amazing. So I think we're grabbing Primeval Titan here. Right now I'm not sure if we're playing this fast bond. It works well with Corsair, and it works well with um, Time Spiral, but that's only two things. Usually I like to have three things to work well with fast bond for it to be relatively consistent. Not keen on Dryad. We don't really have the instance for uh, Mirari Conjecture. It's my only issue with Conjecture. Maybe if we grab the Warp, he'll take it anyway. Who's Beast Within? Do they have Jack in the Box in Madison? Um, I don't think they do, no. No, I think, I think, uh, the last time I had Jack in the Box was in, like, the, when I was living in the Illinois area. Or maybe in the St. Louis area, I don't know. No, I don't want Blight Steel in here. I agree with the pricey aspect over voltage. I think Arby's is atrocious. All their items taste extremely bland. Like, you, may, you might as well just go to, like, the fucking deli at your grocery store and ask for some sliced, sliced meat. And just eat that. I've never enjoyed a meal at Arby's. And I have, in fact, resented many meals from Arby's. The Arby's that was uh, close to me closed down, and it's getting replaced with the Popeyes. I'm very happy about that. It's about as about as uh, high a shift in in quality as, as you could get, I imagine. The curly fries are good. Okay, cool. well the curly fries are fine. Oh, wow. That Eternal Witness Wheel? Who saw the Eternal Witness Wheel happening? And then we got Avenger. Jeez. We might not play this Wormcoil engine. Cut tons of cards. Not that many. Note that we have like six lands in our uh, stack over there. So we'll be cutting some cards. Like Corsair, because we're not playing the fast bond. It's an easy cut. And then yeah, I think the Warm Coil engine is coming out. A lot of our standalone threats that don't uh, that don't generate multiple tokens are not very good in our opposition deck. The breeding pool wheeling would have been absolutely bonkers, but it didn't happen. So we're a little light on fixing, but that's okay. And yeah, we can always board in Wormcoil. The opponent's playing an aggro deck. Narset is good with Time Spiral. I don't know if we need it, though. You know what I mean? Narset has a lot of whiffs in this deck. What if we do this and this? And just like run this. We could also be a 15 lane deck. We have a lot of mana sources here. I'm not going to cut Pluted Delta for an island. We have Avenger and Lotus Cobra and Eternal Witness. They could all make us want to have that, uh, that fetch land. Mm -hmm. 
You think if I was going to add one of these and go to 15 lands, lands, uh, I think it would be the Primal Command. The Primal Command back in. This is eight, nine, ten-ish green sources. But all three of our signets produce green. And this is only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blue sources. It's actually better than I was expecting. Yeah, let's play one more island. So this deck might flood. The the crisis and the time spiral might help with that, but it also might flood. We'll see. That's one reason to play the uh, the primal command. It's a flood inhibitor. What if we play primal command over like trinket mage? Trinket mage is good here, right? It gets soul ring and mox ruby, but we don't really need it. Primal command is gas here. Trinket mage is like more mana. And then primal command is, but you want the, you want to you want to play the fast mana before the tree mage anyway. Whereas like primal command is more gas. I like that. And then we then we don't have to change the land count. Or I didn't save it. Yeah, let's save it. Or export rather. Yeah, this is our second cradle academy deck of the season. Last one did trophy, so we got a we got high hopes. My hopes for this bad boy. You don't think we have enough cheap artifacts for Academy? No, oh, I think you're wrong. I think five is plenty. The Trinket Mage does make it more consistent though. What if I play Trinket Rage Mage over Wall of Brutes? Wall of Brutes is kind of similar. The cool thing about Wall of Brutes is that it generates mana while also like being a creature to tap for opposition. Yeah, Battle Sphere definitely makes the Academy nutty. It's like Time Spiral also makes the Academy nutty. <sighs> Trinket Mage puts us to like functionally six too. And then the, the creature counts the same for Cradle. Trinket Mage over, over the Wall of Roots keeps, it, keeps that the same too. Yeah, when you consider the Trinket Mage's account for Academy and Cradle, it looks a little bit better, I think. You like Wormcoil Engine? Wormcoil Engine's great. However, it is worse than every other card in our deck, and that's why it's in our sideboard. Yeah, that's the issue with Narset, is that it does have a lot of whiffs in here. It has some really good hits, right? It could help you find the, the Time Spiral or the Opposition or the Time Walk. Maybe improves a little bit with the Primal Command Edition. I think if we play a match where the opponent's playing a bunch of draw spells, we can board the Narset in. It'll be just like a really good sideboard card. Yeah, the only way we could have really improved on this is if we'd gotten that breeding pool. I think we took... was that the Primeval Titan pack? Primeval Titan's kind of important. Yeah, if our fixing was slightly better, and our, our fixing's not bad, right? We have like the Vista and Lotus Cobra and a bunch of Signets. One dual land. Our fixing could be slightly better. Could have gotten uh, Tinker. Could have gotten Tinker for the Battle Sphere. That would have helped. Although, if you have to add Tinker for Battle Sphere, now all of a sudden you have to add the Worm Coil back in so that you have multiple hits and. I guess then we'd cut the Gargar off for the Worm Coil. Anyway. It would have had to be like a cascade of changes. 
Titan is fixing, yeah. Double fix. So our best draw here might be, like, Garifrid on this, just to have something to do on turn two. Our best draw is no longer Garifrid on this. So our walls are coming in. Not just Wall of Roots, but Wall of Roots and Wall of Omens. Time's Prowl is probably coming out, even though it's like really good with our fast mana still. And then, uh. What else? Oh, Worm Coil obviously coming in. We can adjust. We can adjust to beat our fearsome red opponent here. I'm talking about cards that are coming in over voltage. You want to cut opposition? We could. That's not the craziest idea I've ever heard. Yeah, I'm usually not keen on Corsair, but it's fine against Mono Red. The 2 4 body. Helping. Hoping they would get a little bit more aggressive here. We can trade off with the revoker. We could spiral. We kind of need to spiral with a lane drop available, so that we can play stuff with like academy and such. So I think we're just playing the eternal witness. Oh, uh, let's spiral. Let's spiral into a time walk. Let's do that, and then went off of time walk. Fox Oli there. That was not a great draw seven. Opposition isn't like the worst. Like we have do have three creatures. You can like tap down their larger things. Oh shit! What up? We were like a mana short of Rex aging in opposition. 
Beaches that like the rest of the hand is also trash. Man, we have some really good mono red beaters. Gargaroth, Wormcoil, Krasis, Corsair. I think we cut both of our double blue cards and then wait the mana base. Heavier green. Pluted Delta is good, and Pluted Delta is good with some of these cards. The issue with Pluted Delta is that it, you know, costs a life. So the trade-off might not be there against Mono Red. The mana to witness and Hermit again? That's not true. We had six mana. We played a Time Spiral off of six mana. So how could it do? The only way that you're countering the only way that you're counting Witness and Hermit is if you're counting the Soul Ring that the opponent had Phyrexian Revoker in. Your count's off, friend. Command. I'm just going to jam 41 here. Cutting hoof seems right. It's not. <laughs> about the blue source. I would love the Krasis, but I do worry about not having a blue source here. Maybe I'm supposed to keep the Krasis over Time Walk. Signet, Time Walk, maybe Primal Command. All Blossoms is also gas. Get my block on. I think Academy is our best draw. Last turn, their best play was Bullman Courier. We put the mountain on top of their library. I have to imagine that their best play is still just attacking with Bullman Courier. Not Worm Coil because we have five mana in play. Can I cast a Worm Coil with five mana? Besides, Gargaroth is also great. Thank you. 
Looking for a blue source there, with that, that, uh, that card draw. Seems like they're trying to bait me into a Gargaroth block, right? Like, while it's attack. Could be a mistake, but I'm gonna do this. Yeah, they were trying to clear Gargaroth with that attack. is fucking fierce. We have all these good, like, anti-red cards. The matchup's still super scary. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, beat Elm. Like, we block with Gargaroth. Like, it seems like they're trying to use the attack to clear the Gargaroth. Whereas if we block with Wall of Blossoms, they can't really do much. Even if it's a mistake, even if they, like, made the, the attack on accident or whatever. Fuck. So the issue with this hand, so... I mean, I think you keep this hand against Mono Red. The issue with this hand is that it's fucking slow, right? Our opponent's playing Mana Crypt. We don't even have a, a turn one dork. Much less a Mox Ruby or a Soul Ring. If you drew a Soul Ring, this hand would be nutty. Then you like turn two Corsair with Fetch Up. Hoof is good against everybody. Hoof just kills someone when you when you cast it. So if the opponent locks out your life gain, you're sitting there at a low life total, and then you top deck hoof, you're like, oh I get to win. Whereas you might not otherwise. Better than the average six. How can how can you say that? We have Soul Ring in our deck. Soul Ring and Time Walk. And we're on the draw. Yeah, I think if you keep this, you're probably overvaluing the Corsair. Turn three Corsair on the draw. Turn them all. I want to put back right now. I think we put back Prime Time and Arbor Elf. And just like hope Crisis does something. But they also went to five. That makes this a fair fight. Could be really, really good. We'll see. When it's already up to four mana, yeah.
Really want to draw land here. Whether we get to untap with Cobra or not, we want to draw land. I'm just supposed to draw one with the Krasis. They do have Char, which can one-shot a Corsair, but I think they would have just fired it off if they had it here. Fire Blast? Wow. trying to trade with the revoker here because land is still fine for a crisis on two all right <laughs> so the only thing we're, we're we're missing two cards from our top end we're missing adventure of zendikar and um and crater of so once we draw those two then we'll have everything we'll have everything we need Wall of Omens into Other Wall is probably like our ideal draw. Island's not a dead one. Island gets us closer to Worm Coil. See, one more land for this fucking Worm Coil engine. <laughs> and there are a lot of lands that don't do it. Guys, Cradle, Tillerian Academy, Botanical Sanctum, they all don't do it. And our time, as you can see, is running out. Kinda looks like we're dead, actually. Great. Yeah, we were on relatively equal footing um, after after our opener. The fact that they got to like answer all of our dorks exactly, and then um, also have the revoker hidden in was a lot of what did it. Yeah, well met, Brand Loco. Well met. Thanks for the match. The deck was too good to 3-0. Yeah, right? Yeah, Mana Crypt's probably at its scariest out of Mono Red Aggro, hum. At its absolute scariest. I think our best draw here is Time Walk. So we can just go like walk into a Titan. Oh, this is scary. Are we dead? <laughs> They're just going for the kill? Jesus Christ. All right. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I was sitting over here like talking about potential draws. This doesn't do anything. 
They get back to LED and they like brain free freeze us for some fiddly amount. Yeah, I'm not sure what they were counting. Maybe they thought they could like flashback cruise or petition doing this. I'll be honest, when I activated this talisman, I forgot that we'd been milled for a lot. And I thought I was gonna get Rex Age to blow up the talisman. So I guess I'm just getting Signet. We could also get we could get Primal Command to shuffle our graveyard back in too. We can't do it this turn. We're just like waiting. Sounds awful. I hate waiting. That's what I was thinking was like they're hell bent, so like maybe I don't wanna maybe I don't wanna spiral. We just need like Garrick or Frantic Search or something to untap the the sicko lands when we tear them up. Yeah, I'm sorry you sick slasher. Hope you feel better soon. Glad you are enjoying the stream though. I like Narset against combo. I think I like Beast Within too. Just like hit a land. Not the most exciting, but probably better than like Garrick Relentless. And we have one more cut. Gargrass a little slow. A little slow for the matchup. the struggles. The struggles of being a ramp deck, right?
Where did I bin? Oh, Spiral. Maybe I should have kept it over the Beast Within. I kind of hate this Beast Within. Oh, they didn't play land. So normally you would wait until your opponent's upkeep before you beast within their land. If we do that, they can activate the Witch Claw in response. Kind of why we brought in Beast Within. We're playing a deck that does not have much interaction, and we're facing a Storm deck. And usually you want to interact with a Storm deck. Help facilitate a Fizzle. They had a family. Yeah, I mean, we don't really have pressure here, right? <laughs> we could certainly still win this. Oh, they're cracking LED so they can activate their signets. Okay. All right. This is actually not a bad Yogg Will if they want a Yogg Will. They get the Ancient Tomb back, they get to the LED. They can actually desire, right? Off of this. Yeah. Yeah, they can crack LED for blue and cast Midas Desire. <laughs> Let's see what they get. It's only a Desire for four. They could just whiff here. They've already played a land. Wait, what? Did they have six on accident? What was that? I think they have six on accident or something. Yeah, right. They hit a they hit a they hit a mana rock and a, and a mox and a land or something and uh, they must have misclicked. You never once misplayed on Moto? Yeah, me neither. I don't I don't know why someone would just choose to misplay. Or misclick or what have you. Glad I've never done that. Toasty, but I, I kind of wonder if I can make them even toastier. I haven't moved the heat setting up past four. I wonder how high it goes. It certainly goes to five. Can we go higher? Can we go higher? How toasty do I want my feet? Do I want them six toasty? Oh, it does go to six. It maxes at six. We're at max. We are at max toastiness, folks. Oh man, I, I can feel it already. I can feel it. Oh shit, what up? Ludicrous toast. 
Hey, own factor. Thanks for the sub. Thanks for 46 months there. I'm gonna choose that. 46 is a little, 46 is a long time. I'm glad you're still around, own factor. I'm glad you're still enjoying the stream. What feet warmer did I get? It's just a um it's just a heat pad. I just shopped around until I found one that wouldn't shut off after X hours. <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna mulligan this, but this is the sort of hand that I'm like unhappy with because it doesn't have like soul rings and moxes and time walks and stuff based on our deck. But like I'm still gonna keep it. And before I burn my feet, I don't think I can burn my feet. Like even with this increased toastiness, like the the top of my feet is still a little chilly. Oh well. Hmm. Well now I don't have anything to complain about, and that's uh rather rude of you, Moto, to not uh to, to not let me complain here. Oh shit, what up? Hey Kiridin, thanks for the sub, thanks for 31 months. Kyrdin says they finally got a job today after being unemployed due to COVID since April. Well, cheers, Kyrdin. Congrats on the job. Oh, man. I was going to Gargaroth, but... This is a thing, huh? <laughs> I kind of ran that asymptotic. That was kind of my line. Good turn three. Oh, it's not the bad. It's not the worst turn three. We don't have, like, Spiral in hand, so we don't actually have, like, a dump for this mana. We don't have, like, Krasis or Spiral or anything, or Time Walk. The Big Boros, it looks like it. So the nice thing about getting Prime Time down is that they have, if they were trying to Wildfire me, it is a little too slow at this point. Balance would still be good. Armageddon? Yeah, Armageddon versus Sol Ring. Two mana dorks in a prime time. Would not be exciting. Oh, they've got plays. They don't have plays. <laughs> oh, they do have plays! Bring in the glory, sure. Range tournament here being mana neutral. Let's pull two lands out before we crease this. Looking for time walk here. We're gonna untap the druid for mana. Gonna time walk off these four cards. Wow, unlucky. Give the wins. Can you believe it? Can you believe not drawing time walk in your four cards? in Worm Coil. That's what I saw there. I don't know what I would cut, though. Primal Command, maybe? Let's get Garakul on this. 
It's another matchup where that card's just not gonna perform. So this hand has a gob of mana, exactly one gob, which is nice, but, oh, there we go. There's some follow-up. I thought the Mox was Sol Ring at first. I thought we were just going, going to go Sol Ring into, into Gruul Signet. Yeah, we lost to Mono Red, Bear Force of Will. Not average Mono Red, though. They were like Mana Crypt every game. Game three, we both mold to five, and then burned all over dorks. And we drew like three of our four top end cards. <laughs> Which can happen with ramp sometimes. Yeah, we have good cards against Mono Red. You know, we have like Worm Coil Post Board and, and Gargadon, a bunch of walls and shit. We have good cards against Mono Red, but I feel like Mono Red can, can just win, even its rough matchups. I want to draw cards so bad, but I should probably make a 3 3 with this guy's cradle in hand. And this Avenger. Weird how this deranged tournament makes me feel so much better. <laughs> so much better about losing the Gargaroth. Next turn, I don't think we Avenger with three lands at play. I think we just witness back Gargaroth and replay it. Witness back Hermit too, because it's funny. Yeah, right, just a bass. I also feel like everything is gonna be all right. Hmm. Yeah, that's a line two. Academy and then one of these fetches set up for the Avenger. I counted out the mana beforehand to see to make sure we'd have enough mana for both signets. If I was gonna be a mana short, then I would have obviously put the signets before the prime time. Yes, we win. Yeah, it's it's looking that way. <laughs> and it's certainly looking this way. Oh no, they conceded. So pre-combat, I was gonna Avenger, and then the fetch bumps, and then the primetime trigger bumps, and then we can Eternal Witness back primetime if they answer that, and double bump. And then uh, just like pass the turn with some like 30 power or something. It's gonna be sweet. <laughs> 